It's Severe Weather Preparedness Week in Indiana. The National Weather Service is putting in an extra effort to help everyone be prepared for when severe weather occurs. News since Madison Zaleski is live in Terre Haute tonight. She explains what you need to know when extreme weather hits. Patrice Rondrell, there are a few terms you might be familiar of, and that's a watch and a warning. But what do they mean? I spoke with a few people here in the Wabash Valley to see if they knew the difference. A watch is more of a less probability of a storm or a tornado actually happening, while a warning is more or less, you're more likely to see it actually happening. I think a watch is like they think something's going to happen. Like if it's a tornado watch, they're watching for it to happen. But a warning is like, okay, it's happening, get shelter. A watch is issued when severe storms are possible near the watch area. It doesn't mean a severe storm will happen. A warning means severe weather is happening now or could happen soon. When the National Weather Service issues a warning, it usually only takes a few minutes before storms roll out into the predicted area. Lead time between a warning and the first report of severe weather here in Indiana, it's about 12 to 14 minutes uh, for severe thunderstorms and for tornadoes. Um, for most tornado events, it's only like seven to 10 minutes lead time. When a watch is issued, keep an eye on weather alerts for your area. Storms can turn dangerous very quickly. If you're under a severe weather warning, you should get to shelter immediately. No matter what your plan is, it's important to stay prepared. I mean, I, we have flashlights, candles, all that kind of thing, but uh, probably not the most prepared person in the world. Gather some of my most needed things, I would say, at first, especially in the sense of a tornado. Um, and I try to find the lowest possible point, I guess, and the more sturdier part of the building. And be sure to download the Storm Team 10 weather app to stay up to date. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Madison Seleski, News 10.